so very long. All my life ago. I'd like to break his damn neck. Why? For making you unhappy. Oh, it was mutual. Rubbish, it was all his fault. You know it was. Yes, it was, now I come to think about it. I'll never treat you like that. That's right. I love you too much. So did he. A fine sort of love that was. He struck you once, didn't he? Oh, more than once. Where? Several places. What a cad! I struck him too. Once I broke four gramophone records over his head. It was very satisfying. You must have been driven to distraction. Yes, I was, but don't let's talk about it, please. After all, it's a dreary subject for our honeymoon night. He didn't know when he was well off. Look at the lights of that yacht reflected in the water. I wonder whose it is. We must bathe tomorrow. Yes, I want to get a nice sunburn. Mandy. Why, what's the matter? I hate sunburned women. Why? It's so somehow, well, unsuitable. It's awfully suitable to me, darling. Of course, if you really want to. I'm absolutely determined. I've got masses of lovely oil to rub all over myself. But your skin's so beautiful as it is. So wait and see. When I've done a nice crisp brown, you'll fall in love with me all over again. Well, I couldn't love you more than I do now. Oh, dear. And it's so hope our honeymoon was going to be progressive. Where did you f spend the last one? Victor. No, I want to know. Sam Moritz. It was very attractive. I hate Sam Moritz. Mm, so do I. Did he start quarrelling with you right away? Within the first few days. I put it down to the high altitudes. And you loved him? Yes, Victor. You poor child. You must try not to be pompous, dear. Mandy. I don't believe I'm a bit what you think I am. How do you mean? I was never a poor child. A figure of speech, dear, that's all. I suffered a good deal and had my heart broken. It wasn't an innocent, girlish heart. It was jagged with sophistication. I've always been sophisticated, far too knowing. I caused many of my rows with Elliot. I irritated him because he knew I could see through him. I don't mind how much you see through me. Sweet. <laughs> I'm going to make you happy. Are you? Mm. Just by looking after you and seeing that you're all right. You know. No, I don't know. I believe that you love me quite differently from the way that you loved Elliot. Oh, do stop harping on Elliot. But it's true, though, isn't it? I love you much more calmly, if that's what you mean. More lastingly? I expect so. Do you remember when I first met you? Yes, distinctly. At Marion Vale's party? Yes. Wasn't it wonderful? Not really, dear. It was only redeemed from the completely commonplace by the fact of my having hiccups. <laughs> I never noticed them. Love at first sight. Where did you first meet Elliot? Oh, to hell with Elliot! No, but I... I forbid you to mention his name again. I'm sick of the sound of it. You must be raving mad. Here we are on the first night of our honeymoon with the music playing and the moon coming up and all you can do is talk about my first husband. It's downright sacrilegious. Well, don't be angry. It's very annoying. Will you forgive me? Yes. Only don't do it again. I promise. I really must go and change. You haven't had your bath yet. Where should we dine? Downstairs here or at the casino? Oh, the casino is more fun, I think. We can play bool afterwards. No, we can't, dear. Don't you like dear old bool? No, I hate dear old bool. We'll play a nice game of chemin de fer. Not at the big table. Maybe at the biggest table. You're not a terrible gambler, are you? Inveterate. Chance rules my life. <laughs> what nonsense. How can you say it's nonsense? It was chance meeting you. It's chancing falling in love. It's chance that we're here. Everything that happens is chance. You know, I feel rather scared of you at close quarters. That promises to be very embarrassing. You seem somehow different now. Wilder than you were, more strained. Wilder? <laughs> Victor. I've never felt less wild in my life. A little strained, I grant you, but that's the newly married atmosphere. You can't expect anything else. Honeymooning is a very overrated amusement. Well, you only say that because you had such a ghastly experience before. There you go again. Well, it couldn't have failed to embitter you a little. The honeymoon wasn't such a ghastly experience, really. It was afterwards that was so awful. I intend to make you forget it entirely. Well, you won't succeed by making constant references to it. I wish I knew you better. I think it's just as well you don't. The woman, in italics, should always retain a certain amount of alluring feminine mystery for the man. Also in italics. And what about the man? Doesn't he have any mystery? Absolutely none. Transparent as glass. Oh. I see. 
<laughs> Never mind, darling. It doesn't necessarily work out like that. It's only supposed to. Well, I'm glad I'm normal. Oh, thing to be glad about. Why? Well, aren't you? I'm not so sure I'm normal. <laughs> of course you are, Mandy. Sweetly, divinely normal. I don't have any peculiar cravings for Chinaman or old boots, if that's what you mean. Mandy. I think very few people are completely normal, really, deep down in their private lives. It all depends on a combination of circumstances. If all the various cosmic thingamies fuse at the same moment and the right spark is struck, there's no knowing what one mightn't do. That was the trouble with Elliot and me. We were like two violent acids bubbling about in a nasty little matrimonial bottle. I don't believe that you're nearly as complex as you think you are. Oh, I don't think I'm particularly complex, but I know I'm unreliable. You're frightening me horribly. In what way unreliable? So apt to see things the wrong way around. What sort of things? Morals. What one should do and what one shouldn't. <laughs> Darling, you are sweet. Oh, thank you, Victor. That's most encouraging. <laughs> you really must have your bath now. Come along. Kiss me. There, dear. Well enough. I've only got to slip my dress on, and I shall be ready. Give me ten minutes. I'll bring the cocktails out here when they come. All right. Sybil? Yes? I brought the cocktails out here. Hurry up. I can't find my lipstick. Then never mind. Send down to the kitchen for some cotton eel. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Hurry up! Stand hand in hand. Interesting, so am I. I hope you're enjoying it. It hasn't started yet. Neither is mine. Oh, my God. I can't help feeling that this is a little unfortunate. Are you happy? Perfectly. Good, that's all right then, isn't it? Are you? Ecstatically. I'm delighted to hear it. We shall probably meet again sometime. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> 